Hello students, we will proceed further with our basic concept of time value of money in session 2. In this session, we will be studying about the annuity which is a series of cash flow. But before going further, let us quickly uh, revise and have a recap of what we have done in session 1. So in session 1, I have explained you the concept of time value of money and how to find uh, the present value from a future value or a future value from a present value and what is the application of doing such calculation in your uh, finance or your analysis. We have studied their three techniques to do this calculation of time value of money, the formula 1, the interest rate table, another technique and the axial function. In formula, uh, the formula for converting present value into future value was PV 1 plus R to the power N when, where R is the interest rate and N is the uh, time period. Similarly, present value is equal to future value divided by 1 plus R to the power N. In another technique interest rate table, we have uh, seen two tables future value interest factor and present value interest factor. Using these two tables, uh, we can also calculate or convert the value of money in different time frame. Another technique was the Excel function, Excel spreadsheet where I have told you about the different inputs that is the rate NPER which is time period, present value or future value or the type which is 0 or 1. We will uh, do some more clarification here in this session 2. Let us first understand what is annuity. So, in session 1 whatever problem we have done or the concept was on a single stream of cash flow that is the lump sum. So, for example, uh, you have deposit 1 lakh rupees now what will this um, 1 lakh rupees will become after 2 years at this rate of interest. So, this was a lump sum. The cash flow inflow or outflow was at one point of time only once. But in case for example, in your RD, recurring deposit at banks, every month some amount goes, then that amount will become some big uh, kitty or some big, uh, big lump sum amount in future that you will be getting. So, here the cash flow is a stream of uh, cash flows at regular interval. Uh, so, we need to now see how to calculate for uh, the value for such stream of cash flow. So, if I define annuity, so it is a equal cash flow made at regular interval of time, right? Every month, maybe every year. So, your EMI is also in the nature of an annuity. Similarly, your um, SIP mode of uh, investment in mutual fund, systematic investment plan is also in the nature of an annuity because at regular interval of time, you are depositing or you are getting the equal uh, cash flow, the equal uh, cash stream. So, annuity mein kya hoga? I am simply writing a um, scenario, a case where you can um, understand how to calculate the value, present value or the future value of an annuity. Let us say now at year 0, year 0 is now, year 1 and year 2. So, let us take a simple example that a person deposit let us say 1000 rupees now and this is an annuity for 2 years that means he will deposit how much 3000 rupees but at different point of time. So, at the end of second year you want to um, calculate the future value of this stream of cash flow which is 1000 rupees at equal at equal interval of time. Let us say uh, the R percentage for R this example is 10%, then how will you find out? Your investment that is made at the beginning of the period will remain invested for how many years? For 3 years, 1 year, 2 year and at the, from the beginning of second year to the end of third year to so 3 years. So, what will be the future value of this 1000? We already know the formula. So, it is future value is equal to 1000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.10. For 10 percent, I am writing 0 0.10 raised to the power 3 because it, it has invested for 3 years. If we calculate it, this will come out to rupees 1331. Now, again, this 1000 is deposited at the end of year 1, that means 
uh, at the beginning of second year so this 1000 will remain invested for what period for 2 years so the future value of this 1000 will be 1000 1 plus 0.10 raised to the power 2 because the period here is 2. If we calculate this, it is 1000 to 10. This 1000 remain invested just for one year. So here the future value will be it will be compounding for only one year. So 1.1 to the power 1. That means 1100 rupees. So the total value, future value of this cash flow 1000, 1000, 1000 is. Three six four one three thousand being our principal amount, but invested at different point of time at regular interval. So this is how we calculate annuity. But this is a very lengthy process so, uh, in uh, real life uh, also in business finance. So for doing capital budgeting uh, problems, we can find a you know a stream of cash flow in the nature of the an uh, in the nature of this annuity, but. then doing this calculation repeatedly is really a time consuming process but we have a solution for this so the solution is in uh, time value of money we have technique to solve this and to find out the value of annuity also so first i'll uh, tell you how to find out future value of annuity we already know how to find out the future val value of a single stream of cash flow using formula using interest rate table and using excel sheet excel spreadsheet excel function so for annuity also we can use any of this technique so formula for finding out future value of annuity i am writing fva for future value of annuity now remember one thing here for present value i am writing pmt pmt is that series of cash flow so in our this example the pmt is 1000 1000 that means uh, this equal amount will be you know repeated for number of years to be an annuity so this pmt is this 1000 rupees that means the um, amount of one cash flow which you are going to um, repeat right so pmt here is nothing but it is the annuity i am writing annuity as pmt here now the formula will be pmt multiplied by look at this formula very carefully 1 plus r to the power n minus 1 divided by r so this becomes formula for calculating present value of an annuity from interest rate table it is easier as we know in uh, interest rate table we have to now look for the appropriate table so at the time of finding the future value of a single stream of cash flow we used to take uh, see one table and that table was future value annuity factor remember but this time it is an annuity so the table will change so you will have another table with the name future value interest factor of annuity so pvif is different from pv ifa here a is for annuity so we will look here in this table and we will again locate for the grid which uh, which is applicable to our rate of interest and time period in this table so this formula will become a uh, very very simple in case of interest rate tab table we will be using what future value of annuity will be equal to pmt multiplied by future value interest factor of annuity at r percentage and n we will just have have to take this value of uh, this factor from the grid from this table and multiply it with your annuity amount so you will get future value of an annuity right isn't it easy so it becomes more e more easy in excel so in excel we will use one function which is pmt so instead of future value or present value jo input dena hai wahan excel function mein it will be pmt and you will get the answer so i will show you uh, show you the illustration how, how to calculate uh, on this future value and present value in excel there i'll be taking up this pmt part also
right so this is the concept of annuity sometimes your problem uh, where you want to you know bring your money at different point of time at one um, platform one time frame so that you can compare it so annuity may be a um, issue there and this uh, how, this is how you can calculate annuity what i will take here now in this video is the illustration or the numerical illustration of some of the problem basic problem how to calculate this time value of money look at this question so how to uh, approach this question first let us see let us understand the problem remember when you understand this problem or you can visualize this problem on a time frame so life becomes very easy 90% of the work is done if you can just understand what is asked in the question and how to approach the solution it says uh, i'll take question number first one which is illustration 1 which says you deposit rupees 1 lakh in a fund that pays interest at the rate of 12% after 3 years what is the amount that you will receive if interest is compounded quarterly one very important thing to be noted down here is this compounded quarterly so compounded quarterly word is very very important here now what does this question says and what is given in the question you deposit rupees 1 lakh so 1 lakh you have today so this is nothing but the present value which is rupees 1 lakh and what is asked in the question what is the amount that you will receive that we that means we are talking in terms of a future amount so hame find out kya karna hai future value right what other information is given here the rate rate here is 12% but remember if the compounding is done quarterly so what is the frequency of this compounding in one year in case it is quarterly of course it is four because there are four quarters in a year so this 12% will be changed as 12% divided by 4 because every quarter you will be receiving 1/4 of this 12% this 12% is per annum this is clear i hope this is clear to you what about time time is 3 years but what is your period of compounding how many times uh, you have uh, received this compounding benefit in 3 years every year you receive four times compounding that means in 3 years total number of compounding will be 12 periods right so this is how we change in terms of compounding agar yahan pe semi annually hota तो हमने 12 परसेंट डिवाइडेड बाय टू एंड थ्री इयर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू कर दिया होता ऑल राइट नाउ लेट अस कैलकुलेट दिस सॉल्यूशन। आई विल शो यू टू कैलकुलेट द फ्यूचर वैल्यू बाय टू मेथड। वन इज फॉर्मूला एंड अनदर वन इज इंटरेस्ट रेट टेबल फॉर्मूला वेरी वेरी सिंपल फ्यूचर वैल्यू इज नथिंग बट इट इज प्रेजेंट वैल्यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन प्लस आर टू दी पार एन सो फ्यूचर वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन लाख रुपीज विच इज आर प्रेजेंट वैल्यू वन प्लस नाउ आई विल राइट थ्री परसेंट तो इंस्टेड ऑफ थ्री आई विल राइट पॉइंट जीरो थ्री रिमेंबर यू हैव टू राइट हेयर इन फ्रैक्शन टू द पार ट्वेल्व सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस यूजिंग अ साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेटर विच इज अलाउड इन योर एग्जामिनेशन यू विल फाइंड दैट दिस फैक्टर विल कम वन वन पॉइंट फोर टू फाइव एट सो योर फ्यूचर वैल्यू विल बी रुपीज वन लैख फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड फाइव एटी राइट यूजिंग इंटरेस्ट रेट टेबल यूजिंग इंटरेस्ट रेट टेबल इट इज अगेन वेरी वेरी इजी बट यू नीड टू नो द फॉर्मूला फ्यूचर वैल्यू इज present value multiplied by future value interest factor at in this case it is 3% 12 years so future value will be 1 lakh rupees multiplied by i'll show you quickly this interest rate table we have to see we have to uh, check the which table is applicable because now there are you know four tables PVIF that is future value interest factor future value interest factor of annuity then present value interest factor and present value interest factor of annuity so 
in this case this is not an annuity so we will and we have to find out compounding value only so we will take pvif so pvif mein hame dekhna kya hai 3% 12 years so this factor is 1.4258 so 1.4258 we will write here 1.4258 and see we have arrived at the same figure rupees 1 lakh 42580 all right let's uh, see another illustration which says you want to accumulate rupees 5 lakh after 6 months what amount should you invest now at the rate of 5% now see what is given so you want to accumulate 5 lakh rupees after 6 years so 5 lakh rupees is our what future value because after 6 year our amount will be 5 lakh rupees if there is nothing written about the compounding period we will assume it to be annually rate percentage that is given here is 5% and the time period here is 6 years so which formula we will be using here the formula because we want to calculate what what amount should you invest now that means what is the value of this 5 lakh rupees now that means the present value of this 5 lakh rupees so we will simply apply the formula here as future value 1 over 1 over 1 plus r to the power n if i write the figure here it is 5 lakh rupees multiplied by 1 over 1 plus 0.05 to the power 6 right so if you solve this this will come as 5 lakh multiplied by 1 over 1.34 or rupees 3 lakh 73100 using interest rate table now uh, just think which interest rate table we will be using here because we want to find the present value so the table and present value for a lump sum not for annuity so the table will be present value interest factor at r percentage and the third table so you have to choose the table very carefully i am putting the value here future value multiplied by if you look at the interest rate table so you will find that present value interest factor present value interest factor at 6 5% 6 year is 0.7462 so i'm writing here 0.7462 and this will come as rupees 3 lakh 73100 right so this is how we calculate uh, such type of problems here now uh, we'll take another problem so mm, by the time i i'm sure you must have understood how to approach the problem now look at this question it says calculate the future value of an equal stream of cash flow of rupees 5000 now this is in the nature of an annuity because here 5000 rupees you are investing or there is a flow of 5000 rupees for next 3 year at 7% interest rate what is given here is the 5000 rupees which is pmt right rate of interest is also given and now future value interest factor of annuity you will be applying here because we want to calculate what future value calculate the future value so simply this will be pmt multiplied by future value interest factor of annuity at r percentage and you can also apply the formula i am not writing down the formula here i am just uh, putting uh, the value of present value interest factor of annuity from the table at 7% 3 years and this will come out to rupees 5 lakh multiplied by 3.2149 or rupees 16074 so the future value of 5000 invested for 5 year 15000 will be our principal and the remaining amount will be interest and also the interest on interest as per the compounding at this point of time i want to uh, make you understand one more concept so in this question we assume that 
for three year investment this 5000 is done at the beginning of the year that means year zero aisa bhi to ho sakta hai ki ye jo 5000 hai ye at the end of one year invest ho so in that case the annuity will change so we have two annuity the annuity due and the annuity ordinary when i say annuity ordinary that means ye jo first installment hai first 5000 hai it starts from the beginning of the period or annuity due may it will start at the end of the period now in excel what we do ye jo type ka ek option hota hai excel uh, excel mein this is related with this annuity due and annuity ordinary so i'll show you this in excel also in this video only let us take another problem illustration for a company wants to accumulate rupees 10 lakh for redemption of its debenture what amount should it deposit in a sinking fund for 5 year if the rate of interest is 6% so company know ki after 5 years they have to redeem back uh, debenture worth rupees 10 lakh rupees so they want to invest some amount every year sinking fund is a fund where you invest every year so that इट एक्यूमुलेट टू टेन लाख रुपीज तो जब जरूरत हो तो दस लाख रुपए उसमें हो और हर साल थोड़ा थोड़ा निकाले और वो फंड अर्न भी करेगा सिक्स परसेंट नाउ दिस इज अ ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू अप्लाई योर लॉजिक हेयर वट इज गिवन हेयर इज द फ्यूचर वैल्यू जो हमें एक्यूमुलेट करनी है विच इज टेन लाख रुपीज बट वॉट इज नॉट गिवन हेयर इज द पी एम टी पी एम टी गिवन नहीं है राइट बट फ्यूचर वैल्यू इंटरेस्ट फैक्टर ऑफ एनविटी वी कैन अप्लाई हेयर एट वॉट सिक्स परसेंट Five years. So we already know the formula. Future value is equal to PMT multiplied by future value interest factor of annuity at six percent five year. But in this case, we are not given this variable. This we know. So we will just put it here. Here problem in this uh, equation. And um, if you see, future value interest factor of annuity at six percent five years. so it will come out to future value interest factor of annuity at 6% 5 years 6% 5 years will be 5.6371 5.6371 i'm writing here 5.6371 so by this we can calculate 10 lakh rupees divided by 5.6371 so the answer here will be the amount that you will get as your um, annuity every year so this will come out to rupees 1 lakh 77 thousand 390 Six. That means one lakh seventy seven thousand three ninety six should be invested every year, so that at the end of five year you can accumulate what this amount of ten lakh rupees. Let us check out how to use Excel functions to solve time value of money problems. So we will be using same illustrations. In our question number one, we were required to find out the future value of a lump sum. so i am simply writing the function is equal to fv fv stand for future value i'll show you what are the different inputs that is required by um, excel sheet here if you can see so first one is the rate so rate here one important thing is you cannot write this rate here as 12% you have to write it write it in fraction because 12% it will take as 1200% so we will be writing 0.12 but remember the compounding was done quarterly so this 0.12 should be divided by 4 12% divided by 4 or you can simply put here 0.03 that means 3% npr npr is the time period so time period here is 12 periods because 3 years and 4 time compounding a year so i'm writing here 12 pmt pmt we will use in case of annuity this is not a question of annuity here we are given what present value now remember one very important thing 
you have to check whether your present value is a cash inflow or outflow and accordingly you will take the figure as positive or negative so one leg of transaction should be positive one should be pos uh, negative so if your present value is negative your outcome in future value will come as positive aisa nahi hoga to error dikhayega yahan pe so we are depositing so it is our cash outflow so i will take this figure as negative figure so minus 1 lakh i am writing here minus 1 lakh type here type as i told you agar beginning mein hai so uh, wahan pe omit uh, karke wo apne aap hi le lega so we will omit here because it is a beginning case so it will take it uh, they, uh, they will take it automatically look here this was our answer in problem number 1 right move on to uh, second illustration it says Uh, you want to accumulate five lakh rupees. So in this question, what we were requi required to find out the present value. So this time I am taking the function PV. PV is the present value. Sorry, PV that is a uh, present value. So I'll again see what input does it require. So the rate here is five percent. So what I will write? Yes, point zero five. NPER is. Six years. I am writing here six year. It is also not a case of annuity, so I'll leave this column. Future value. Future value is five lakh rupees. So you want to accumulate. So this time it is going to be what your inflow. So I'm taking this figure as positive figure only five lakh rupees. So the answer is three lakh seventy three thousand. 100 was the our answer from formula and interest rate table this rupees 7 extra is because of some approximations right so we have got the answer here as negative why because you have to deposit at this point of time third illustration now in this case equal stream of cash flow this is a case of annuity so what we are required to find out calculate the future value so again fv so i am taking the function fv but this time in my input i am going to uh, put the uh, input as pmt not pv so the rate here is 7% 0.07 nper is 3 years i am writing 3 here and pmt is 5000 rupees i am writing is as negative figure because this is outflow from our side we we'll leave uh, other columns and it is 16074 rupees right so this is what we have got the answer there also 16074 isn't it easy it is super easy and this is of immense importance uh, in finance if you are going for financial analytics or uh, financial modeling or financial uh, you know forecasting so this will find a lot of importance there this time value of uh, money concept in security analysis and portfolio management also because everything is forecasted and this forecasting is done using the concept of time value of money a last question here we were required to find out the annuity so for annuity what is the function it is pmt so pmt i am taking as a function i'll put another uh, other inputs here 6 percent is point is 06 nper what is the time period we have is 5 years and pv now look at in this case what is given to us we we want to accumulate 10 lakh rupees so 10 lakh rupees is a future value it's not present value so we will write 10 lakh here only so 10 lakh if i write here you see we will arrive at a figure which is your cash outflow at this point of time or uh, annual cash outflow 177396 so if you understand the question what is given in the question what is required in the questions what you need to calculate just apply your logic apply the formulas or any of these techniques and arrive at the solution